Hey there, how's it going? It's been a busy dev week for me, but once again, most of it is outside of Monkeys with Guns. I've been talking for a while now about licensing a few games, and it looks like that's pretty much done. The games have been accepted and everything looks good from what I hear. When I get the final word and everything is up, I will make a whole devlog talking about the process, as it was pretty interesting. Along with that dev work, I'm also working on a freelance logo commission for a game studio, planning mechanic concepts for the first week-long game jam I've done in months, and planning the next steps for Monkeys with Guns. Of course, along with all that, I have a full-time job as well as my wife and daughter. There really needs to be more time in a week. Last Sunday, I went to Friendsgiving with a bunch of indie game devs, and they played Monkeys with Guns for a bit. Luckily, there was no black screen and no game-breaking issues that I could tell. But for some reason, the most damage badge has stopped appearing on the stat screen, and I really don't know why at this point. I haven't really looked into it yet, as it's not super game-breaking, but I do hope to get that figured out and updated sometime soon. Other than that, I've been doing a lot of thinking and concepting for Monkeys with Guns. So unfortunately, I really don't have anything new to show. Pretty much all I have is scraps of paper, Evernote documents, and a lot of pondering. Most of that is not super interesting from a visual standpoint, unfortunately, for these devlogs. So hopefully I can try to make my concept clear, and then in the future we can see how or if they actually work. In a previous video, I talked about making the players solid, so they could bump and bounce off of each other. The more I think about the implementation, I think solid is the wrong word to use. Right now, the players can just walk past each other. The only way to interact with other players is with the bullets. When the players shoot or are hit with a bullet, they are affected by a small amount of knockback. I like the knockback in the game, but I really don't like the implementation that I set up. There are still a few issues with it that I have on my list to fix, like shooting up with the machine gun while you're falling actually makes you fall slower. That's an oversight of the knockback velocity being less than the gravity, causing a slow fall effect, which is obviously wrong. Since I already want to rework the way knockback works, I'm thinking that I can fold that into the way the players collide as well. Instead of having the players be solid, they will stay the way they are in terms of not being solid objects. Because in Construct, as well as in other engines I assume, solid has a specific set of properties which I think will cause problems. But if I modify the way knockback works, I can trigger the bouncing and bumping the same way. As an example, if player 1 is falling and over overlaps player 2, I could trigger a knockback event that would then move player 1 up and player 2 down, simulating that player 1 bounces off the head of player 2. I could adjust the force depending on what inputs the players are holding maybe, I'm not really sure. I'll have to test all this and see, but that's where I'm at with Monkeys with Guns for the moment. And just to be completely transparent, that test probably won't happen for a few weeks. As I've said before, I would like to start making devlogs on other projects as well, but I don't have the time to do more than one devlog a week, so next week will be the first test of that. Starting on the 13th of December, I will be taking part in the 8 bits to infinity Infinity text only jam. This is a week long game jam where all visuals need to be made of ASCII characters. So, just to be clear, that's not the theme. We won't know the actual theme until the jam starts. I really like the 8 bits to infinity jams because they always have a constraint, text only in this instance, and then they add a theme at the start of the jam. I personally find the approach of having a restriction as well as a theme to be much more interesting than just the old, here's a theme, go. That's just a little too open for me. I checked the rules and it says you can use the characters however you want, not just as like a text only type adventure game, which of course means I'm going to be making a platformer. I've tested out a couple mechanic ideas, and I can't wait to really get started once the theme is announced on the 13th. So next Monday there will be a devlog for whatever game I'm making for that. The game won't be done at that point, I'll only be a couple of days in, so it will be a look at the progress and ideas I have. Then, the following week, we'll show the final game and have a bit of a post-mortem along with it. Then, after that, I will get back to Monkeys with Guns. Hopefully the game jam stuff is still interesting to everyone watching. I guess we'll see how the numbers go. If the jam sounds interesting and you'd like to participate yourself, there's a link in the description to join the jam and the Discord page. Once the jam starts, I'll be tweeting updates if you're interested in seeing the progress in real time. Alright, I'm off subject as usual, so let's wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below or message me on Twitter, download Monkeys with Guns, or play any of my other games at vimlark.itch.io. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and liking, and I will talk to you next time. Have a good one. Later.